Hi, I'm Roxanne Glosser. Welcome to another episode of Art Smart brought to you by Whirly Derb. And today what we're going to be doing is we are going to work with one color and we're going to work with just line and repetition, kind of like what's here behind me, to create your own fantastic little doodles. Today it's just a doodle say just a doodle, it's gonna be a fantastic doodle. So go ahead and get your papers ready. What I like to do is I like to start with just a uh, quarter sheet. This is just a regular uh, cardstock or plain copy paper. Have one of those ready and then we are going to get started. So today we're gonna to be drawing with marker and it's gonna be a Sharpie doodle today. And again, I said we're gonna be working with line and repetition. So what I want you to do to start with, we're gonna just start with a geometric shape, the one that just popped into my mind for some reason. I'm feeling like a triangle. All right, so we're gonna start with basic shape. We have a nice triangle there. Place it kind of anywhere on the paper you'd like. What I'd like for you to do is whatever shape you started with, if it's a square or a circle, go ahead and let's do two more of those. So I have a triangle there. I'm going to turn one over here. I'm also going to place one over here. So you should have three shapes on your page now. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to fill in with another shape. So this time I'm going to put one near it, but I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to leave a little space in between, so we can do some kind of interesting things there. And let's see, let's do a different one. You know what? Maybe bring in a couple of circles there. Oh, look, it looks like we might be able to fit. Oh, looks like we've got a little parallelogram in there. I'm going to fit in. So what you're doing is just go ahead and maybe have some that go off the edge of the page. That's fine. Go ahead and just play with shapes. That's what we're doing here, playing with shapes. All right, so that's probably, and let's see, what do I have? I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11. So maybe you have 10 or 11 shapes there on your page. Now what we're gonna do is this is a study. I'm, I've got a, a Sharpie. I also have a, this is a, one of those little gel pens, so it's a little finer point of a black pen. I've also got maybe, you know, one of these types that we might be switching in between. What I want you to do is pick a shape, your favorite shape, and the first thing we're going to do is you're going to fill it with straight lines. And I say straight lines, not like a ruler straight, but just kind of eyeball it. So what you're going to do, I'm going to fill this one with straight lines. So there we go. See how I've done that? Nice repetition of straight lines. I'm going to rotate my paper. So I'm going to turn it sideways here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick another shape. And I am going to also fill that shape with straight lines. Okay, so I have filled that. I'm going to turn it one more time. So this is going to be my third shape that I filled in with straight lines. Okay. You can have top, bottom, turn it any way you'd like. So the next thing you want to do is pick a shape. And this time we're going to fill it in with wiggly lines. So let's see, I think I'm going to do over here. So I'm going to just go up and down and then I'm going to turn it because I'm going to try to mimic that. I'm going to try to duplicate that. So I'm going to go out, in, out, in, and stop. So I'll do it again. I'm going to go to the right, to the left, to the right, and stop. So what you see is you see a pattern. It's repetition. A lot of times we'll have a repetition in art. So I've got some squiggle lines there. You know what, I'm going to take that curved line, that's kind of a curved line concept. I'm going to go inside here. And what I'm going to do is I am just going to wind that line around each other, run it off to the edge. So a nice spiral. And I have a spiral here and I'm feeling, I'm going to make one on the opposite side. So I'm going to come over here and it would be a spiral, but I'm not going to see all of it. So I'm just going to put two curved lines within there to add that. So now I'm thinking, what other kinds of lines could I make? Well, I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm liking the curved lines, so I'm going to turn it upside down. I'm going to just do curved lines. I'm going to use that all the way up this triangle. So there we have. We've come up, and I'm feeling like, Add another little curve there. All right, 
So we have lots of lines and repetition. So next up, let's go. I'm going to take some more diagonal lines here. I'm going to have some that come down. And for this one, what I'm doing is I'm taking that end line and I'm going to create repetition with that. So as you see, I've created those within. And over here, what we'll do is I'm going to turn it. I think I'm seeing one we need to come this way. Okay, so we have that. And we have one left. One left. So with this one, I think we'll do, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some more straight lines. And all right, so now we have different lines that have been repeated throughout. So what we'll do now is let's just go ahead and start adding additional ones. So these over here, I'm going to put a, another line that we're going to come down, matching that one. I'm going to come here in the middle. I'm going to just do a wavy line that comes there. Let's have another one that comes over here. And I have one more that comes here. On this one, oh, what am I going to do? I'm just putting some straight lines on it, so it's not giving it any curvature. Straight lines. This one I'm going to add curve lines to, so I start to see how the differences in those two. This one starts to look a little bit more like a sphere. This one looks flat. On this one, I'm going to uh, create a pattern. We're going to do short lines there. I'm going to skip it. I'm going to repeat it over here. So you'll start to see different things happening depending on how you place the extra lines on them. So you're just going to continue to repeat these. And right now I'm working a lot with lines. Um, after you've played with your lines a bit, what you might want to do is come back and then let's add in some other shapes. We can also have repetition of dots. great thing for students to start looking at and looking for patterns because a lot of what we see in nature a lot of uh, what's created and what's built it revolves around patterns you've got radial symmetry you can work with bilateral symmetry to have them start to create these things so yeah so just continue on with that uh, a lot of times what I'll do is to uh, limit, don't let them bring in color with it, but then you can switch and you'll notice here, let me zoom in so you can see differences coming in here. Different weight of lines, you know, this one's coming in. And so then you can add, go opposite and see what happens with that. And then you can come in and remember, uh, I did a video just a couple days ago on texture. And so we learned about cross-hatching, and I'm going to just go ahead and bring that in here. Do a little bit of cross-hatching within, start to fill that up. And this one is a checkerboard pattern. And, that. and then you can switch up, change the lines. And with this, when you start doing this, this really can help build attention span, focus, passion, plus completion, plus work ethic. Love to love that. Of course, if you want to add your hearts, you can. But all of this is a study in line. You can, I recommend that you use a quarter sheet of paper. So you're gonna start with something that's small so the students can work and really, you get the power of it when it is completed, when they filled up that entire space. And so what you're gonna do is just start very simply, start with shapes, start with lines, and repeat those lines to get them uh, comfortable with actually holding the pencil, moving the pencil, uh, the shapes, look at that. You can talk about weight of line. You've got your uh, horizontal, vertical lines. We have a curved line that curves around itself. It does not uh, cross over itself or intersect. We've got these wavy lines here. So this is a great way to start uh, introducing students to line and what you can do with line. And so once you've 
kind of done a couple of these. That's all this is, is just those concepts repeated over and over. If you look closely, these are just lines back here that, as you can see, that I've repeated with a very thin, thin pen. And over here, we've got our Sharpies coming in with a thicker one. And really, that's what it is. It's just repeating those simple things again and again until you've created your own art piece. I'm Roxanne Glauser with Art Smart. This is brought to you by Whirly Derb. I hope that you've enjoyed this, and I want you to go grab your sheet of paper and practice making your lines and create your own art. Thank you so much. Hope to see you again soon.